Hello everyone, welcome again to another review. In this case, we will be taking a look to the Parker Jodder, a classic. Stay tuned. As always, don't forget to subscribe, give it a like and share. This helps me out a lot for further videos. Perhaps you already know Parker for the famous Jotter, but I mean in this case for the ballpoint pen. This is a classic as well, but as you can see, you can find it also as a mechanical pencil and it's more or less the same size and configuration. But here we're going to go through this list and find out what is so good about this mechanical pencil. As you can see, let's start with the length. We have a length of 13,2 centimeters. Then we have a width around here on the grip area of eight millimeters. And the weight of this thing is 13 grams. So it's really, really light. 13 grams. So uh, <clears throat> what about the balancing point? The balancing point of this one finds its place around 7,5 centimeters from this tip. So if you grab this ruler and you go 7,5 centimeter to the top, you will find where this lands. And it is around five millimeters more or less from this line here on the top. So as you can see, it's relatively high. So when you are trying to write it like this, then this lands more or less here on the hand. Let's discuss the advanced mechanism. Every time that you push, you can see again, how much you get. You need to run 18 pushes here on the back in order to achieve one centimeter of lead here at the end. So you can see it's quite precise in the mechanism. So if you saw my previous videos, you can also see when I compare to the rod ring 800 or 600. Actually, this is the 800 right here. And regarding the grip, you can tell <laughs> the difference. There is no grip at all here. Uh, this uh, aluminum part is brushed, but this is no grip practically. So you can tell the difference between the two of them. Okay, so you saw in my other videos as well regarding the rotary 800 when I was taking it apart and showing you how it was uh, made inside, please check the other video if you want to see that. Let's do the same with the jotter. This one is relatively simple. So you have one piece basically. And here at the top, you have this mechanism of pushing. I will give you a sound check in the next part, but basically you just push there and there is no more science to it. So here I will show you how it's made inside or what do you have inside? Basically, this is what you get. It's slippery, as you can tell, even more with the gloves. So the metal uh, here is brushed, as you can tell, but everything is metal, even this part here. This is plastic, of course, what you see in black. And then again, this one on top where the rubber is, is also made of metal. Let me remove the rubber. So you can also see. And if you remember, the 600 had a similar piece here for the rubber holder. So this one is a split, so it will not last long. As you can see, it's a bit deformed. And comparison, the 800 is a whole piece. So that's something different. But the good thing is that at least you get this lead remover. So when you have lead stock here, which happens often, we will discuss this in the design flows but at least you get it here so that's good to have and then again this other cap is also made of metal but you can see is relatively thin metal there is not much to it sadly this you cannot undo because when you start pulling then you basically activate the mechanism so you can push it like that inside but you cannot um, disassemble this in any other way. Okay, then what about the design flaws of this pencil? So the first thing, the grip, this thing has no grip at all. So when you are writing down, taking notes, then your hands start sliding down and then you end up here and you cannot write at all. 
So this happens, I don't know, after two minutes that you are taking notes. I don't know how sweaty your hands are, but if you are a human being with relatively good humid skin, then you will sweat and then you will start sliding down, making it impossible to write. This is more or less the same problem that I have with the jotter, with the ballpoint pen. But yes, this is something that I consider it's the biggest one. So if you want to take notes with this a lot of time, then I suggest to look somewhere else. Look something with a grip like that. The other design flaw that I see is here, the mechanism itself. Luckily, here you can see that I press and it works really nice. But sometimes this lead here gets stuck or I just break it. So, for example, like this. See, I broke the lead. You can see it here by, yes, just grabbing it like that. And then look, this is really annoying. So you press, you press, you press, and then you get nothing at all. So then you don't know what to do because you want to push it maybe a bit inside and then press again, press, press, press. I don't know, should write with it <laughs> and it is not fitting. And these are the LEDs are a rotoring 0.5 millimeters. So you see I'm pressing fully and then I still get nothing. This is really annoying. So I don't know what to do in these cases. Um, you have to take this out and then pull this in. And then here, um, I don't know, do something like that maybe. Let's see if that works. <laughs> My God, I'm really far from the camera, so I cannot do it properly, but yeah, I cannot enter so much. So let's try again. Oops, I have no reach without that. So let me put this again like this. And, oh look, now it works. <laughs> but not so much. So maybe it can be that the lead broke inside already. Okay, now it's working. So you see, this is something that annoys you and happens randomly. So I wouldn't take this for a place that I must write. <laughs> for this, just give me my rotring 800. I can trust this all the time. Uh, yes, just like this. So, biggest thing of that jotter. So, regardless of the sweaty part on the filament and the hand, this is more or less um, balanced. So, when you're writing with it, it is comfortable to write with. So, no problem with that. I will give you now some sound check. So it's a solid sound. Now let's see what noises it makes when you're writing with it. So as you could hear, no noises, no rattles like in the 800. So how much should you pay for this? Well, this is the good thing about the jotter. Like in the ballpoint pen, like this one, they are relatively inexpensive. So that means that you can buy both of them. So the ballpoint pen and the mechanical pencil, which usually come together, or you can buy it separately. I will write down here the current price. So what about this then? Should you buy it? Should you avoid it? Well, I believe it's tough to say because it is really inexpensive in comparison, for example, to a, a Rotring 800. But uh, I believe it makes a good gift <laughs> if you want to buy the two of them because it looks nice. I mean, it is purely metal. There is no problem on that. and. As you can see, both of them work together with a pad to take notes. So the size is working really well for putting it to your pocket. 
sadly this one it's not um, collapsing so you have still this little point which can break and gives you headache if this gets bent as you can see in mine it's a bit bent but it's working still so this is a disadvantage for example with the rod ring that you can totally hide it so i also wouldn't like to write everyday notes with this because of the lack of the grip it will be sliding all the way down and even if it is lighter than the 800 for example it doesn't help just because of that reason another reason is this mechanism here on the back that sometimes works sometimes doesn't it's uh, especially if you break the lead and then you try to continue writing can be that it's not working for a few seconds or for half a minute or so until you fix it so if you are taking notes uh, in university or maybe in a in a meeting perhaps it's crucial so i wouldn't do that task with this pencil but i think it's good to put in the new pocket to have it around it's sturdy enough that you know that um, it will not break in half or something like this it's purely metal as i said before and i think it looks good i mean for the price and also for the uh, fact that it is small enough it is purely metal and i think you can combine it with a note taking pad it's a good thing to have so that's my opinion regarding the parquet jotter please if you have su suggestions drop them down and i will check them out later thank you for watching and see you later and further videos